competitive Pokemon lore. As far as items go in Pokemon, very few are considered overpower and in need of a rework. The only one at this moment that comes to mind is the Soldu item, which is another video for another day. Today we'll be taking a look at an item that newer VGC players might not know was nerfed from previous generation. Well, it's actually five items that got nerfed. They're known as the Pinch Berries, Figgy, Wiki, Mago, Aguav, and Ayapapa. In Gen 6, these items were basically useless. They healed a Pokemon for 25% of its health if they were lower than half HP, but confused them if they had a particular nature that decreased a certain stat. They were given an enormous buff in Gen 7, which made them activate at 25% or lower HP and healed the user for half of its health. Sort of a high risk, high reward item, because if you were at higher than 25% health and then got KO'd, it was basically like you didn't have an item on the Pokemon at all. But if you managed to survive the hit, you'd be back in the game. Sounds pretty balanced, right? Well, not really. In 2017, the items were scarcely used at first, likely due to VGC players not being known for enjoying risky strategies, but a discovery was made that Arcanine, the best Pokemon in the format, could effectively use these items. With the ability Intimidate and access to Snarl, it was able to run the item and usually get it to pop by decreasing the power of opposing Pokemon's attacks. But what really optimized this item was the usage of the move Flare Blitz. Flare Blitz was standard on Arcanine due to its high power at the cost of very little recoil. This recoil from Flare Blitz allowed Arcanine to reliably whittle down its own health and activate its berry, while still being able to dish out major damage. Arcanine's support moves also allowed its partners to reliably run this item, like Tapu Fini, which with Calm Mind was a very difficult Pokemon to break. This item was also notably broken on Bellydrum Snorlax, which could usually run a defensive set to make it tank hits easier, as a 4x multiplier on its attack stat from Bellydrum was usually more than enough even without investment. This Pokemon's ability allowed it to belly drum, get plus 6 attack, activate the berry at 50% health instead of 25%, and then get back up to full HP. It was meta-defining for VGC 2017. And with 5 berries that effectively did the same thing, you could hypothetically run 5 on a team. It wasn't uncommon to see 2 or 3 pinch berries get used per team in the format because it was so bulky. So in Gen 8, the berries were nerfed to heal only 33% of your health at 25% or lower, which I personally think is a pretty nice sweet spot. Even if I do miss Belly Drum Snorlax sweeping entire teams. If you learn anything new, be sure to subscribe because I make tons of EGC content, and check out my Twitch channel to watch me battle live.